This morning in Legal Logic, when it comes to divorce cases, what happens with custody of the family dog? It's an important topic, and Brian Cuna is here of Brian Cuna and Associates to explain it all. Good morning, sir. Hey, <laughs> Brendan. How are you? I am well. You know, yeah. this is you know we, we laugh and joke around, but pets are right. part of the family, and right. when relationships don't work out and there's a separation or a divorce, this is really something that we need to take into consideration, isn't it? Right. In fact, the the believe it or not, the Rhode Island Supreme Court about a week and a half ago came down with a case on the custody and, and visitation rights for for the family dogs. There's two dogs, right? Winnie and Baroques. <laughs> well, <laughs> so suppose the determination has been made between the couple to yeah. get divorced. At what point do we introduce this into into the proceedings? Right. Well, in the case that was that was decided by the Rhode Island Supreme Court, it was in the separation agreement itself. The background is that the husband and wife were married for 23 years. Right. They had no children. They had two dogs in the separation agreement. Dad got the two dogs uh, for 48 hours from uh, Tuesday to Thursday. <laughs> Mom got upset because one of the dogs came home with a bloody paw and a bloody nose oh. one time. And after five months, Mom says, nope, you can't see the dogs anymore. Dad appeals to the family court judge. The judge says, nope, there's an agreement. You've got to let them see the dog. Mom goes to the Rhode Island Supreme Court, oh, and they decide last week on contract grounds because dogs are considered personal property. They're, not, they're shadows, they're, believe it or not. But that's not the reality of what's happening in many, many cases. Right. In the Is this more common than some people may think? Yes, it's becoming more and more common, particularly with millennials you know, that have, don't have children. The dogs are considered to be their children. Right. Yeah. You talked about visitation. I mean, I think that might be uh, on some level alarming to some people. I mean, we think that way when it comes to kids, but the fact that pets are now being distributed that yeah. way, in a sense, seems... Yeah, there, there are actually some states. In fact, legislation was in introduced in Rhode Island and Massachusetts in the last couple of years that actually would let judges give judges guidelines in terms of who gets the dog when there's a dispute. Now, who walks the dog, who, who feeds the dog, who brings the dog, the bed, sure. etc. Is this specific to just dogs or is it all pets applicable? It's, it's, well, they say that 88% of all <laughs> custody visitation cases involving pets sure. are dogs. 5% are cats, 1% are horses. All right, and you have an example here that you were telling me about oh, yeah. before we went on that really is something in quite telling, um, entertaining, but also maybe prove something. It, 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 aside from who feeds the dog, such a, there, was a, there was a session on Judge Judy. Judge right. Judy, by the way, recently bought a house in Newport. She's now a Rhode Island resident. And what she did was the two people were fighting about who gets the dog. So what Judge Judy did was she brought the dog into the courtroom. <laughs> and she said, okay, put the dog on the floor and let's see what happens. Of course, the, the wife says, no, 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 don't do that. Judge Judy says, put the dog on the, you know how she is. Sure. Put the dog on the ground. The dog ran up to right to the, right to the guy and started pawing him. Judge says, case over. <laughs> and then, <laughs> it was judgment for him, see you later. <laughs> determined that he, he, he's the guy. And you know what? I thought to myself, judges, what a great idea. Listen to Judge Judy. <laughs> I can't solve that. And at what point it was, was the it, best thing? It's the best thing I ever saw. At what point it was, was it revealed that there was a stake in the pocket of his pants? <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's right. The stake fell out of his pants as he's, as he's standing. There. Ryan, a great pleasure to have you uh, here. Right, uh, yeah. Thank you for shedding Judge some Judy, light on her. Hey, let's get dinner. The three yeah. of us, Will, Michaela, the five of us, will paint the town in Newport. Dinner. Absolutely, we got to get together this summer in Newport. You book it. Let us know. For more legal okay. logic, just head on over to Roadshow.com.